I really appreciate you joining me today. And this is a breaking news story coming from Birmingham. We've got another story that is literally just broken this morning about a body that has been found in a park in Yardley, just off Queens Road. This is a suspected suicide, but I'm still waiting for police statements to be released about the exact circumstances around it. So I won't report on this story until the police have released a statement. And coincidentally, in this other story as well, this also involves suicide. So I'm definitely going to leave some links in the description to Samaritans. And also, don't forget you can message Scar City Studios for any advice or direction to talk to anybody that you need to in relation to your mental health. This story I covered for over one year. This started last year where a police officer was filmed on CCTV attacking a 15-year-old child and also a, a cyclist as well. He was actually filmed assaulting three people on two different days and he was convicted of assaulting two of them. The story was released on Scar City on the night that this actually occurred in Newtown as well. And PC Declan Jones was eventually charged and convicted for the horrifying attack on the young boy outside his home. But today, PC Declan Jones, it has been revealed that his mother and father found his body inside their home in Bromsgrove in Worcestershire. It is believed that he has taken his own life and the 30-year-old was sacked from West Midlands Police after being found guilty of assault by a district judge in August. He was recorded on CCTV pulling the 44-year-old black cyclist to the floor in Birmingham before punching him and also kicking him. He was pushed onto the bonnet of the car in April last year and less than 24 hours later, he was also filmed beating up a black teenager after wrongly accusing him of possessing drugs in the Newtown area. Police from West Mercia attended the address in Bromsgrove where Jones had spent Christmas and a force spokesman said that on the 28th of December, police were called to an address in Bromsgrove following reports of the welfare of a man in his 30s. Sadly, he was pronounced dead at 12.45 and they don't believe that any third party involvement took place and a report will be prepared for the coroner. During his trial this year, at Coventry Magistrates Court, they were shown security camera footage of PC Jones grabbing the innocent cyclist Michael Rose off his bike in the middle of a street in Aston in April 2020. PC Declan Jones said that he believed that he'd stolen his phone and Mr Rose was held by a female officer who was actually Jones's superior officer at the time, a sergeant. He punched him in the back three times and also hit his head off the bonnet of the car. And he only stopped the attack when a Ford Focus drove past. And then the officer is seen punching the man again and kneeing him in the side. Several passers-by asked him to stop and Jones responded by slamming Mr Rose against the car. The next day, the same officer was caught on camera kicking the boy who was not named for legal reasons while he was on the ground. And the footage was also shown in court and went viral on our YouTube channel. Jones grappled with the teenager and then he claimed that he used reasonable force and self-defence but he was found guilty of unlawful force after a five-day trial at the magistrate's court. The district judge Shamin Qureshi said that the two complainants were of good character and she rejected Jones's claim that they were only seeking compensation. He found the officer's use of force in both incidents to be unlawful. None of the complainants immediately went to the police. They only did so when they was advised by their community. Following the verdict, Jones was then dismissed without notice by West Midlands Police Chief Sir David Thompson at an accelerated hearing uh, later on in the year. Sir David said of Jones that the officer's conduct fell below the standard that is expected of any police officer. The conduct is criminal and this has caused a serious impact to the public on the view of West Midlands Police. I apologise to the victims in this case and I see no sanction other than the police officer to be dismissed for what he did. Sir David said that the case also involved a national concern about the use of force by police on members of the black community and he said getting it right and ensuring that the black community is kept safe is very important and it requires all of us to strive to do better. The assaults were investigated by the IOPC and the board did not find Jones guilty of gross misconduct over the discrimination allegations made by the victims. Jones was released from prison in December and he was facing trial in November next year for another alleged assault. 
He was accused of committing actual bodily harm against Travail Weiss while in an incident involving a taser the year before. Jones also denied this charge as well. He was already convicted of two cases and he had another case ongoing as well. So he'd lost his career, potentially friends, any respect that he had in his community. And this is what happens, I suppose, when you act like a bully. There's only so far you can go when you bully people and use your authority as a weapon. Of course, it's sad for his family that he's took his own life. And at the same time, it definitely makes you reflect on the decisions that you make and where these decisions will take you in life. So I really appreciate you joining me for this story. And please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And check out the other two videos that I've done on this story as well last year. I really appreciate it if you'd follow me online at Sky City Studios on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.